Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a TJ Maxx shop with me where I'm going to be showing you everything new at the stores in the beauty section. I also like to go over clothing here, bags, shoes, anything fun that we can find. I film these every few weeks and I love showing you guys what we find at a really decent price. Now today's video is actually sponsored by Scentbird. So Scentbird is a monthly perfume subscription for $17 a month where you can try hundreds of different designer and they even started carrying some niche brands which is really exciting. The niche brands are going to run you a little bit more but those bottles can be really expensive like 200 to 500 dollars so this is the perfect way to try them out and if you're just a perfume junkie like me and love trying out tons of scents this is a great way to try some new scents every single month they actually recently got new packaging and it's actually gorgeous and these you can snap off so you can see how much product you get in here it's like a typical fragrance spray size that you might get at like sephora or ulta but they charge like 29 dollars for theirs so scentboard's even cheaper cheaper than that. Now when you get these they are locked so you just flip it over and then your fragrance is going to spray out. This here is the Montel Intense Cafe. I have been wanting this one for a long time because I have the kind of dupe for this which is Zara Rose Gourmand. This smells so good but the Zara just doesn't last. While the Montel brand works amazingly for me and lasts all day long. I absolutely love this scent. If you like sweet rose scents, definitely check it out. Next scent, this one came in a fun yellow bottle. This is the Prada Candy Gloss. This is a version from them I've been wanting to try for a while, but I can never find it anywhere in store. So I wanted to order this because it has like a cherry note in it. And I love the original Prada Candy. Now this scent I have been dying to get my hands on. I smelled this when I was in San Francisco back early, earlier in the year. So I've been having this on my mind for a long time and I tried it at a Saks, which Scentbird actually partners with Saks to bring you these amazing, more expensive perfumes. This is actually by Tiziana Terenzi and it's called Kirk, I believe. This is making me want to get the full size. It's so good. This is like kind of musky, but fruity. So good, another perfect juicy, scent for summertime. They do also carry colognes if you want to get anything for your man and again tons of different brands. If you guys want to go ahead and check this out you can actually use my code Leah for 55% off and that puts your total at just over $7 unless you get any of the sex exclusives those are going to be $10 more. This is available if you're in the USA and also Canada. Now let's go ahead and get into these TJ Maxx finds. Okay, I'm not spotting too much today in makeup, but I did find these for some reason they were in the skincare, but it's actually the Smashbox Halo Tinted Moisturizer here. I found a light medium shade and also the medium. I don't think we've seen this one here before. It's going for $16.99. Also spotted a new product from Belief here. This is their Miracle Revital Eye Cream here, full size, going for $14.99. Love finding their skincare here because it's such a good brand. Lots of Belief, it seems. This is the True Cream Aqua Bomb Sunscreen. I didn't know they had a sunscreen. This does look full size. It's SPF 50, $14.99. Definitely check for dates before buying sunscreen here because it should have expiration somewhere. I'm guessing it's under this sticker. So I just wanted to check the date, so I did open this one up. So with the sunscreens here, you usually have to use them within the year. So this one's good until November of this year. I found a ton of ColourPop and Soul Body stuff last week. I haven't seen this yet. Their tanning lotion. I've tried their foam one, which is pretty good. I have not tried the gradual one. They had this one here, medium to deep, going for only $7.99, which is a really great price on this. Look what they have here. They have the hand sanitizers from Touchland, which I feel like people have been going crazy for <laughs> on social media. I've seen it a lot on TikTok and stuff. This one's been opened, probably to smell it, but this is the Touchland Power Mist hydrating hand sanitizer. Have you guys tried these? Are they worth the hype? I think they're normally like, what, $10 or something? Kind of pricey. They have it here for $5.99. It's a frosted mint scent. I'll have to see if I can find any more, but I know a lot of people really do love these. This is kind of interesting, but this is a newer brand I've seen at Ulta, and it's by, I think it's pronounced Skip. Um, this is their Balancing Face and Body Cleanser. They have very eco-friendly packaging, looks like a little milk jug. This is $7.99. And then I spotted these soaps that look so fun. We have a chocolate swirl 
so pure. It's by Fun Foamers, $6.99. And then you guys know me and my obsession with banana scents. They have a Go Bananas one. These do look really nice. And you do get quite a bit of product in there. I had to smell it and it smells so good. It's like banana runts candy. Some more Tree Hut body butters here. We have the coconut lime in the older packaging for $4.99. And then they have this one in the newer packaging, Exotic Bloom. I think they were discontinuing this scent. This is $5.99 for the body butter. Okay, this is super exciting. I found a full-size Osea body polish. I've been seeing a ton of minis from them lately. I definitely think I want to get this one. Let's see how much it is. You guys can't see because this thing is covering, but it's $29.99. Kind of pricey, but I feel like this probably retails for $50 or so. So I may pick this one up. It's 12 ounces. I spotted something new from the Amna brand, which is kind of like a Truly Beauty dupe. I talk about them quite often here, but this is their Icy Babe Cooling Muscle Cream. So like a totally new product. This would feel nice, I feel like, in the summer as well. It's supposed to relieve tight muscles with a cool, refreshing sensation. This is for $7.99. Another new scent from them, not necessarily a new product, but this is the Water My Melons, Your Melons Butter for lifting, tightening, and firming. Very similar to the Truly one. I think the Truly one's a similar name too. Again, $7.99. I found another new scent too. This is the Fine Apples, Your Pineapples Butter. So pineapple scented one, how fun is that? This one is also $7.99 of course. Look what's here and has finally made it to TJ Maxx. The Ariana Grande God is a Woman perfume. I was wondering when this would come because we see all her scents here but it usually just takes a little bit for them to arrive because this one has been out I think a couple years now so if you want to get it at a discount you could get it for $36.99. I definitely feel like this is priced higher than usual because like her older ones are $24.99 but it's still definitely much better than it is full price so very cool to see that. I'm so excited to see these Mimic perfumes back at the store. It looks like these are in a bigger size as well. I saw a couple of these like maybe two or so months ago um, and they're like dupe perfumes for certain scents. The last time I found like a Tom Ford Lost Cherry one. The Compound 99, which is Amber Floral Wood. This one smells like Baccarat Rouge 540. I've been looking for this one for so long, but this one's kind of crooked. It still sprays though, but the sprayer is kind of broken. I don't know. I've been looking for this one though. It's the Sweet Strawberry Milk one. And it's supposed to be a dupe for an old perfume, I think, called Cry Baby that sells for like really expensive on different like reseller websites they have it here and then they also have the number 32 as well which is a blend of warm gourmand so this one i think is supposed to be a dupe for the sol de janeiro Charosa 62 perfume and i would say it is quite similar maybe not spot on but very very close so excited to see some new scents from them i couldn't find this one on the website but just looking up info that's what i was able to find but i'm tempted to get this one <sighs> i wish it wasn't so crooked though we'll see it smells pretty good some more really good fragrance finds i spotted these little ellis brooklyn minis they were actually in the makeup section i went ahead and moved them over here because they do look like a makeup product but they have the mini west perfumes i don't know if they're discontinuing this scent i know it's not as popular for them it's going for 9.99 for the mini spray and they also have this one called raven i haven't smelled either of these so i'm curious how they are i do like their scents quite a bit they don't have a description of these though on the bottles and then I was really excited to find this clean full-size fragrance this is their skin perfume which is one of their best sellers it's like a musk skin type of scent it smells clean but a little sweet from the musk this is $44.99 I think these usually retail in the 70 $80 range. I actually just noticed they had the full size West here as well. I'm gonna definitely look this one up because it's really affordable. <laughs> These are usually like 90. It's $34.99 here for the 1.7 ounce. So it must be one that's being discontinued from them. It's like a new NARS set over here. It's the mini light reflecting orgasm cheek set. I think this one is a couple years old, two or three probably. Um, with this packaging. I know we've seen like a mini palette with this packaging. This is for $24.99 It comes with the light reflecting powder, which I think is a smaller size and also looks like orgasm blush and a little brush in there Kind of expensive for minis. 
I've seen a lot of Honest Beauty today. This is the Lip Powder Blush. There's quite a few different shades. This is Frisky for $5.99. This one is Flirty. You can't really tell because they all kind of look the same color. And this one is Foxy. Also spotted this from them too, which is their Wink and Pout Eye and Lip Kit. It has a nourishing tinted lip balm and long wear liquid eyeliner in here. These also both look like minis for $6.99. There's quite a bit of stuff over here. Tons of Glam Light restocks. So Glam Light is going to be selling here as like one of their official stores. And I think they're going to have exclusive stuff here too that's just here only, which is kind of interesting. I don't know. I don't really understand. But like they have a bunch of the original Michaela palettes here for $16.99 that they did restock if you're looking for anything. Some Hershey's Kisses palettes as well. I can't believe all these beauty blenders they have here too. I haven't seen them here in a minute. I think this was from one of their holiday collections. This is the Electric Violet Blending Sponge for only $9.99. So that's a great price for a beauty blender. And then they did restock the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation, which I haven't seen here in a while, but it's really cheap now for $5.99. So it's probably getting close to expiration, I'm guessing, with this price. Looks like also a pretty big restock on the Too Faced Sun Bunny Bronzer. I'm not sure if they still make this one. It says California Glow. This is $16.99. Looks like they have some new MAC stuff. This is the Studio Fix Sculpt and Shape Contour Palette. Seems kind of fun. I never knew they had something like this. I honestly haven't been keeping up on their launches though, but this is really cool. It's $24.99, so a little highlight cream contour bronze palette. And they have these lip kits here. Kiss It Twice Powder Kiss Liquid. Lip Duo in pink. Comes with a billion dollar smile and a little tamed. This is $19.99. And also this one, which is their orange duo. This would be a fun summer one. It has Sorry Not Sorry and Marrakesh Mare. I also haven't seen these yet here from Jacqueline Cosmetics. It's the bronzers, which are actually pretty good again. I do recommend most of her stuff here. It's so inexpensive and it's good quality. The sunbathed pressed bronzers, they just have a bear babe here in daycation. And these are $9.99 each. You guys will not believe what I just found here. New Pat McGrath, it looks like their love collection. So this is very new, like just came out beginning of this year. I actually bought two palettes from this collection. I'm wondering which one this one is. It's the Sublime the Seduction. I think that's one I have. I know they have one more rosy tone, one bronze, and then an all matte. So this is so crazy. It seems like a lot of her limited collections are gonna start ending up here. And it's only $29.99. It's actually a really good formula from them. So if you see it, I would pick it up. So this is just nuts to see. You guys, I came over here and they had even more. This is the Iconic Infatuation and the Velvet Liaison. So they have all three of them here. That is absolutely crazy. I went over to the mug section and look how cute. They've had some really nice Disney mugs lately. They have a chip mug. I don't think this is the original one from the parks because it's a little different than the one I have, but it's so adorable. I have one of these and I just store some of my brushes and lip liners in it. This is $7.99. This is another fun Disney mug. It has a bunch of kind of more of the not as popular characters on here, but it has a bunch of the princess names and just, you know, some of the fun sidekicks that are in the movies. This is $4.99. Around the corner they had even more cute mugs. Oh my goodness. They had so many Hello Kitty ones. Look at this one. I think I'm going to make a fun reel or TikTok on these because these are so cute. That's $5.99. They have a plain pink Hello Kitty. And then this I know is a Sanrio character. Is it My Melody? I think that's who that is. Yes, I was right. So many. And then more Disney, like Disney snack mugs for $4.99. The Little Mermaid back there. This is a really cute princess mug. Wow, they are stuck up. And then Stitch, Aloha. So cute. Look at what TJ Maxx has, these glass cups. How fun. They have this like floral mushroom print for $5.99. And then this is really cute too. It's like a disco cowgirl kind of thing for $6.99. So fun. I never thought I would see those here. Because most places I feel like that make them sell them for like $20, $25. So pretty good deal. Check this one out as well. Another fun cowgirl print. I know you guys always get excited about the Homeworks candles. As do I. I always love seeing what new scents they have. 
that we can find. So we have vanilla bean ice cream from them. Again, these are $16.99. We have star fruit sorbet. We have this thanks candle, which I think it's just a birthday cake scent. At least that's what it smells like. It looks like it has pear, golden nectar, maple, and vanilla musk. So maybe I'm wrong, but it smells like vanilla. The pineapple mousse is back. This one smells like Dole Whip. They have an orange creamsicle back there. A lot of florals, orchid and sweet grass, clover blossom in the back. So tons and tons of new ones for spring and summer. This blanket from Cupcakes and Cashmere feels very similar to the Barefoot Dreams ones. It's ultra soft and the leopard print is also really similar to Barefoot Dreams. Let's see if I can find a price on this. $24.99, not too bad. Really nice quality it seems. And also, am I spying Halloween stuff already? <laughs> we have, um, it looks like Jack Skellington blanket as well. They have Mickey Mouse. And this definitely looks like fall. It's like mushrooms and leaves and stuff like that. Check out this mirror too. This reminds me so much of the anthropology ones. It is a smaller one that you could set up on like your mantle or some drawers. Really cool. So it's 20 by 28 inches. This one is going for $29.99. It was on the back. I had to <laughs> grab it because it's kind of heavy. So I couldn't show you the price, but yeah, it's $29. These designer inspired paintings are also really fun from this Oliver brand. That is where my painting is in the back of my videos. I have like a huge painting with like these books that say Chanel Louis Vuitton on them. It's the same brand, which I really like. So they have this Chanel floral one for $16.99 and look at this one. Here's the Louis Vuitton one as well. Those are really fun. Oh my goodness, look at these slippers, you guys. These are by the brand Mooncake. I'm obsessed. They have these cute little smiley face ones in blue and also in pink. I'm definitely gonna pick up a pair of these. So cute for $9.99. And then this is this one says Mood Pop. I'm assuming it's the same brand though. These have little peace signs on them. Definitely gonna grab these fun pink smiley face ones. I do need some new slippers. Added two more juicy bags here. These kind of look like the ones I've seen at Burlington. There's this style for $29. And they have this like tote style as well. I'm pretty sure I've seen this one before. Also $29. Another find that I absolutely cannot believe is this Coach Tabby bag. These are super popular. And I would never expect to find one here at TJ Maxx, although I could see maybe this style isn't as popular because of the ombre. But aren't these so cute? They're like pillowy soft. They're, this one is $249. I think they usually retail for $399. So it's an okay discount, but I still can't believe that they have this here. Wow. So that is all the finds. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like we found some pretty good stuff this month as per usual. Let me know what you guys found as well and what you're excited about or what you're on the hunt for. And again, thanks so much to Scentbird for sponsoring. Don't forget to check out the link down below if you guys want to try them out. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.